what's up my honey bunnies and welcome back or welcome to my channel thank you so much for tuning in i am so glad that you're here as you can already tell by the title we are going to be talking about fragrances so i do have a fragrance or perfume haul just a lot of the perfumes that i recently acquired within like the past couple months this year i feel like I went really in on buying and researching what's cruelty free, what's vegan, what's out there. And obviously this is what my channel is about, is sharing what brands that I find that are cruelty free and vegan in all categories of beauty. And I think fragrance and perfumes are part of the beauty umbrella <laughs> so i wanted to come by and just share everything that i picked up i've been working with dossier for the past couple months and i have two more perfumes to share with you i got to pick these for the month of august and i am so excited to share what i picked out if, if you're not yet familiar with dossier what are you doing go check them out they have a huge selection of cruelty free and vegan perfumes and these perfumes are inspired by very popular and cold favorite fragrances out there so you get these for a fraction of the price so you're not going to be paying the high high price tag okay so let's jump into the scents that i picked out for the month of august so fall is hopefully right around the corner i mean last week it felt like it was starting to cool down and we had a really great week and then this week heat is back and it's kind of unbearable again it's like in the 90s today but mentally i am so ready for fall i just want cozy cold weather cuddle weather and because of that i picked out two scents that are going to be more for like fall and winter they are more like woody, cozy, warm scents. And I picked up the scent Woody Chestnut. And this is inspired by Mason Margiela. It's the replica by the fireplace Eau de Toilette. And the replica line, first of all, I found them at Sephora earlier this year and I was smelling a lot of their scents. And I was really, really impressed with a lot of them. And I really was gonna buy a couple of them. Then I realized how expensive they are. They are so expensive. They're like 130 or something like that. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna have to wait. And I was gonna get some travel sizes, but I went home, I did some research and they're not cruelty free, unfortunately, which made me so bummed. Uh, so I went online, I started looking for dupes and of course, Dossier carries some dupes from the replica line. The top notes of this perfume is pink pepper, orange blossom, clove. The middle note is chestnut guay, guayac wood. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'll put it on the screen. And then sade, I think it's pronounced sade or cade wood. And then base notes are vanilla, peru, balsam, and cedar wood. So what I remembered, I do like the original scent of this one. And this is what it looks like. All of their bottles look the same, which I do really love. Even though they are very basic and kind of generic, I actually like the packaging. I think they all just look very pretty together. I'm really into like organizing and sometimes I just want everything to look cohesive. So this is just perfect for me. So I love the packaging. It also has a magnetic little cap. So that's really cool. So just think of what you would smell when you're by the fireplace. So this definitely does kind of paint a picture for me. I'm sitting in front of a fireplace. You can smell the wood burning, smoky, sweetness, cozy, warm. I really like this one, but I will say that because I'm not a big fan of really woody scents, it's not my absolute favorite, but I'm so glad that I got to try it and I am gonna be testing it out for fall and winter. For right now, because it's so hot, I just don't feel like it goes with the vibe. But when it's cold, I think this is gonna be really, really nice. And I really do like a lot of these uh, notes in here. The pink pepper I'm familiar with. Uh, obviously cedarwood and vanilla. Vanilla is one of my favorite notes. And orange blossom, I think I have smelled it in other scents, but the clove, the chestnut and these type of woods and the balsam I've never really smelled before but I think all together just makes it really warm and cozy and just like makes me want to cuddle and just like be warm and mm, it's really really nice and then at the end it does have like that sweetness of the vanilla so it's definitely a woody scent 
uh, but it does have a tiny bit of sweetness and I think that's what saves it. If it didn't have the vanilla in here or any of like that sweetness in here, I would probably would not like this. And like always, Dossier does send over a little travel size. So test this one out first before actually, um, where is it? Before actually opening your full size because sometimes we spray it once in the air and you like it but then it doesn't work with your chemistry so always test out the little one first if you love it then open up the full size but if you don't end up loving it you can return the whole thing well you can keep this i'm pretty sure but you can return the full size and you can get your money back no questions asked so i really love that about dossier and then the other one that i picked out i just had to pick this up i've been hearing about this perfume like the original one all over youtube everybody talks about it and i just had to get my hands on at least the inspired version because i cannot afford i mean i could afford it if i really wanted to but i don't want to spend that much money i think it's like 300 dollars a bottle or like maybe a little bit higher i did go to bloomingdale's to smell the original one and let me tell you when i got this in the mail it just smells very 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 close to the original one so this one is called ambery saffron and this one has top notes of saffron orange blossom middle notes of jasmine plum cedarwood and then the base notes are oak moss fir balsam and amber so this is inspired by the also freaking popular baccarat what is it called? Baccarat Rouge 540 from Mason Francis Curdijon? Curdijon? I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is the Eau de Parfum. Concentration of 18%. And it does. It smells a lot like the original one. L like I mentioned, I did go and smell it. And let me tell you, the original one lasts forever. I have that card and I can still smell the perfume on the card which is insane because it's been like two months already and yeah so this one also lasts a long time it does smell very similar to the baccarat rouge i'm just not a big fan of this scent uh, i think it's just too woody for me it's not a bad scent it's just not something that works with my chemistry but it is a very unique and it's really hard to describe. If you want to try Baccarat Rouge, definitely give this a try because like I said, it smells almost identical to it and it does last a pretty long time. Anyway, so I just really wanted to try it because I hear about this perfume everywhere in the fragrance community and obviously the original one is not cruelty free. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad that I got to try it. I now know that it's not something that works with my chemistry, unfortunately, but it is something that I like to keep in my collection. Thank you so much, Dossier, for working with me and allowing me to try a lot of your products or your scents I should say I honestly have like a whole list of other perfumes and scents that I want to try from them because they just have so many so many options great prices again I will link them down below okay so moving on to my recent recent purchase this one I really got like a week ago or two weeks ago I don't remember if you follow me on Instagram I did do an unboxing well, actually no not really an unboxing but I did share that I got it I filmed an unboxing that I'm I still need to edit for reels so that should be coming up soon but this is a this is my first celebrity perfume I've never really tried celebrity perfumes before uh, going cruelty free and it's kind of hard because a lot of them are not cruelty free or vegan and it's the new Ariana Grande perfume this is the goddess woman uh, I didn't know that she had perfumes based on or named after her songs uh, but she has a huge collection of perfumes and I did not know that anyway so the reason why I really wanted to pick this one up is because it is 91% naturally derived it has clean ingredients 100% vegan cruelty free this reusable base is made from 60% plant-based sustainable materials and the carton is recyclable so this is pretty much what the box looks like it's just very floral it has purples and lavenders and whites very beautiful box it does have ariana on the front or the back of it and yeah that is what it looks like and let me show you what the actual bottle looks like right out the box this is what the component looks like i did go for the biggest size they have this was 65 dollars Five dollars 55 65 the one that's a little bit smaller it's 55 and then the travel size is like 24 or 25 dollars i really wanted to get the biggest one because the way i got 
Well, the way I found out about this perfume is through my Ulta catalog. It came in the mail and sometimes it comes with little paper samples of perfumes. And this was the first one that I found inside the catalog. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool. It sounds amazing. The fact that it's vegan and cruelty free and more on the natural side. I'm like, yes, let me smell it. And on the paper, I was like, yes, this smells incredible, very fruity, very fresh and like light. It was just perfect. So I went ahead and ordered it as soon as possible. And I went ahead and picked up the full size because I did rub the sample paper on my wrist and all day I just kept smelling my wrist. Right now it's only available at Ulta. So that's pretty much where you can pick it up. I've been watching a lot of reviews on this perfume just because I wanted to hear what other people are thinking. My first video that I watch is Curly Scent's uh, video review of this with Anthony. If you don't watch them, I'll link their channel down below. They're not, she's not a cruelty-free blogger or anything like that, but I really do love her um, reviews on perfumes. Anyway, so she did a review of this and she did not like it. And I had already purchased it, I had already smelled it, but I just wanted to hear other people's opinion about it. And I kind of knew that she was not gonna like it. I've been watching her and I can already tell that her scent profile is something more complex, something more with depth. And I feel like this is just too basic for her and that's okay. Um, so I was just cracking up at her video review of this perfume. I'll link it down below so you can check it out because she was hilarious, I love them so much. Uh, anyway, so, I personally love this perfume. It is more of a basic perfume. Yes, I agree. It is gonna be one that pleases the masses. It's just not complex. It's just a very like, just basic. Not in a bad way. All right, so it says empowered, breathtaking, natural, a breath of fresh air for the senses. Introducing God is a Woman, Eau de Perfume, the fragrance by Ariana Grande. Features, cruelty-free, vegan, clean ingredients, and pretty much everything that I told you already. And the fragrance family is Fruity Musk. And honestly, I don't feel like it's a musk at all. To me, it's more fruity. And the keynotes are, top are amberette and juicy pear. The middle notes are orris, Turkish rose, petals, and the base notes are Madagascar, vanilla, creamy, cedarwood. So those are pretty much all the notes. Like I mentioned, it does come in a base, so this is the base. The perfume itself is just a clear lilac bottle. I love this color so much. You know I love lilac. Anyway, I actually like the packaging. This kind of gives me like Kim Kardashian vibes. I know she has a line of perfumes as well and I've seen them at Ulta. And this kind of just gives me Kim vibes, like something she would put out, very like modern and futuristic, geographic, you know, like just, is it ge geometric, not geographic, oh my goodness. Love that it has like these little crystal shapes and you can see through the bottle and it's like a very, kind of just gives me like amethyst crystal vibes. Now let me give you my thoughts on the actual perfume. So I, like I said, I really like it. I don't really smell the musk in here because it says it's like a fruity musk. I don't, I don't smell the musk in here. Uh, it is more of a, it definitely is more of a fruity one for me. It's very juicy, very fresh, very clean, um, slightly floral because it does have some florals in there, but I love it. And I think it's because lately I've been so obsessed with pear. I've noticed that a lot of the perfumes that I recently picked up this year have pear in them. And I think pear is just one of my favorite notes for spring and summer. When I first got it, I sprayed it in the air and I'm like, wait, that doesn't smell the way the paper sample smelled. And I think it's because obviously when you first spray it, you're getting the first opening of the scent. And I think the paper sample is something that's already there for a while. So maybe it's like the dry down of it. I mean, I'm not 100% sure if that's how it works, but I love the dry down of this perfume. I like the way it opens up, very fruity and juicy, but at the end, when it dries down on my skin, it's just a little bit different. It's not so juicy. 
a little bit more creamier. It's a little bit more sweeter and creamier. Anyway, so far I'm really, really enjoying this one. This one I picked up last month. For this one, I did have a sample size that came in my Petit Vore. The company is called Dead Cool. Of course, they are cruelty-free and vegan, and this company is more on the natural side as well. And they do make unisex perfumes and scents, and they do carry more than perfumes. They have like detergent that smells like their scents they have i believe candles and just other things and by the way i think that all perfumes are genderless if you want to wear a masculine perfume you go right ahead it is your body your choice okay so to me all perfumes are unisex and anybody can wear them this one is called fragrance number one which is called taunt and the bottle itself is very very just sleek and i guess basic you could call it because it's not extravagant but this is the type of packaging i like just like the ones from dossier they're very just sleek and minimalistic this is what i love any this company also sends you a sample for you to try out before you commit to the full size and i highly recommend that because sometimes you know just things happen you might like you might you might think you like the sound of the scents and the notes and then when you get it you're like wow that did not smell like i was expecting so definitely try out the little sample i think i already finished the sample and i'm gonna start using the full size but i love this this is such a beautiful scent i'm gonna go to the fragrantica website I highly recommend that website if you're looking for like the chords and like what the notes are and just like reviews i think they have as well on there highly recommend that website anyway so the main accords are amber vanilla floral powdery citrus soft soft spicy um aromatic animalic and green so it says fragrance haunt by dead Cool is a floral green fragrance for women and men this is a fragrance it was launched in 2018. The nose behind this fragrance is Karina Shaz. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Top notes are bergamot and dewdrop. Middle notes are floral notes and cassis. Base notes are amber and vanilla. It's warm, it's creamy, it's sweet, but not too sweet. If you like vanilla, but you're tired of like traditional vanilla, this is more of a grown vanilla, and that is pretty much the type of vanilla I like. Um, yeah, it's just very nice. I think she did an amazing job with this scent because it doesn't lean too masculine or too feminine. I feel like it's just in the middle. The way it wears on my skin, the way it opens, and the way it dries down. I just love everything about this. I have no complaints. It is more of an expensive perfume. Uh, I mean, not that much. It is like $100, I think. But they do have some other ones that are like $130. So it is more on the, you know, expensive uh, price range. But highly recommend them let me know in the comments down below so we can start a conversation about fragrances let me know what is your recent purchase your recent perfume purchase and what is on your wish list as far as my wish list it is probably like a mile long because i want to try so many mainly from dossier because they have so many options on their website so i really want to try a lot of theirs but recently, um, Ellis Brooklyn also recently came out with a new perfume. It's called Super Amber or something like that. I posted on my Instagram. The bottle looks so nice and it just looks like fall vibes. So I really want to get my hands on that one. All right, my honey bunnies, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. It is free to watch my videos. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next one. Bye.